Last but not least, well, not last, but now we're going to Scotland. I guess Scotland is an okay level. I don't really like the level very much. I think they could have tried to tie it into the show because there was an episode where Scrooge went to Scotland, to the castle of McDuck. But then again, you know, the Bermuda Triangle level is totally not based off the episode where Scrooge went to Bermuda, so I shouldn't complain. Alright. Get an area over here. You want to get the ones on the right first. Then jump to get that one because we have a hidden floor. And this is the chain that leads to the area you were in before. Interesting idea. With the uh, suits of armor, and what was that? My game slowed down on me. Why did it did it again? Okay, one more time. I'm sure I can get it this time, folks. Here, I'll wait a second. There you go. No, but as I was saying, it's an interesting idea with the suits of armor. I think the thing that really sells the idea that the suits of armor are coming to life is that sound effect of the uh, suit of armor. Clank, 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 clank. <laughs> I don't know, there's... Really no comment I can make here, besides I think that's a pretty cool idea. That the background, the background, all the suits of armor in the background have, some of them have magically come to life. Oh! Wow, what was that? Sorry about that, everybody. That was just a really bad job of jumping. The challenge is to jump from hook to hook in order to reach the chain. You can pogo off the head of those floating hands. Well, I guess they don't have heads because they're floating hands. But you know what I mean, just pogo on top of them, off the top of them. Can pass this way here? Oh. Whoops. Well, if you pogo jump at the exact right time, you reach the hidden passageway that's there. This is a neat little area. See? We have all three different kinds of blocks. Just gathered together for no apparent reason. There's no real reason to have all the different kinds of blocks together at the same area, besides for the fact that it looks cool. up there. Nope. Okay, never mind. Just destroy the blocks. Not the blocks. The treasure. Get the treasure. Climb up here. This is a um, variation of the puzzle we saw in uh, Niagara, where you have spikes on the ceiling. So you have to pogo through the area to do short pogo jumps. There's a hidden area over to the right, but I don't know where it goes. It might lead to here. 
Here we go, I think this is it. So if you go left here, you'll end up right in the uh, hidden area that I noticed. Let me get all these jewels first. And then we get the final piece of the treasure map. jump up here, get those treasure chests. You want to get them before activating this, the mine cart. Alright, and I'm pretty sure this is just the end of the level. And here's the boss. It's the exact same boss you saw in the basement level, except instead of turning you into a frog, it shoots uh, lightning from the ceiling, so you have to keep moving left or right. Or it shoots a tornado at you. I seem to be uh, having an easier time destroying this boss this time around than I did in the basement, but I guess that makes sense because it was a uh, hidden level. Made the boss a little bit more difficult for the hidden level, right? 